What would happen if we went back to the Shrine of Resurrection in the Great Plateau? Would it be the same as Breath of the Wild? Or would we find a dark secret? It's interesting how so much of Hyrule has been slightly changed for Tears of the Kingdom. But the Great Plateau seems relatively unchanged. We're gonna definitely gonna do some more exploring, but I wonder if they did it just because of the nostalgia and memories of coming out of this specific area in Breath of the Wild. And they probably wanted to keep it pretty much the same. I swear to God, if it rains again, it rains so much in this game. It is absolutely insane. Oh, hello, friend. I feel so bad doing that every single time, but you know what? It's worth it because we need the money. It's interesting. The Shrine of Resurrection is currently covered in leaves. I wonder, it looks like we can actually crouch under these. Well, okay, so this area has changed a lot. It looks like they took out all the tutorial jumping kind of stuff through here. Oh, a booble frog. Hello. I also feel bad doing that every single time, because if you don't kill them in one hit, they make a lot of really sad noises. So make sure to come up here if you need a booble gem, at least. And let's hop up to the rest of this. There's a spring here? Is this a hot spring? I wonder if it's like Stardew Valley. Let's let's do some damage to ourselves. Oh, okay, that's a lot of damage. We could have at least fallen into the hot spring. There we go. Oh, it does recover hearts. We got a half a heart a second, it looks like. That's interesting. Definitely not the most efficient way of recovering hearts, but if you're up here, I guess why not? I actually thought this was all that was in here, but it looks like there's actually a hole we can jump down. Is that? That's a, that's a Yuga clan thing, right? All right, what's going on down here? It is, it's a, it's a freaking Yiga clan hideout. And we got some bananas? Oh, oh, come on. It's a freaking trap. The noble swordsman scrounging for scraps, hmm? You fell for the oldest trick in the book. Ah, but of course, the old banana in the cave trick. <laughs> Definitely the oldest trick in the book. You stumbled into our secret storehouse for treasure from the depths. And now that you've seen it, I can't let you live. Your life ends today. It was a freaking trap. Okay, this is... I cannot believe the Shrine of Resurrection is now a Yiga Clan hideout. That's so weird. All right, so we, let's go ahead and fuse this onto our shield. Can we just explode you? Oh, there we go. That should take care of one of them. Oh, nope, you're still alive. What you doing? Why are you so squirrely? Oh, God, I'm bad at aiming. Ooh, a duplex bow, 14 times two. It's not quite a Lionel bow, but I'll take it. Come here, stop being so squirrely. Are you serious right now? Oh my God, oh my God, why am I so bad? You know what, fine. <laughs> There's a reason that this is my favorite thing in the game. It's because it just makes life so, wait. Oh my God. <laughs> the embarrassment is real. There we go. <laughs> the best way to deal with squirrely monsters or anything really. So what else we got going on down here? Ooh, an eightfold blade. Okay, I'll take that. And yes, the roasted mighty banana. What's going on right here though? Oh, nice. Okay, so if you have auto build, these schema stones, they're actually gonna give you really cool things. Well, potentially cool things. A be Is this a freaking motorcycle? Ooh, okay, we gotta see what that motorcycle does. I mean, obviously it's gonna do motorcycle things, but is it gonna be terrible? <laughs> oh, that does blow up. I shot it j just for funsies. There's actually a chest behind it. What? An eightfold long blade? 17 damage, attack up plus nine. When wielded by a proficient fighter, it cleaves the wind and creates a vacuum. Oh, that's freaking awesome. We ended up just using Ascension to get out of there, but I want to check other areas. But I wanted to check other areas on the Great Plateau because now I'm really intrigued. We need to see just how awesome or terrible this beam cycle is. It's going to cost 18 Zonite to build. <laughs> this definitely doesn't look nearly as good as the <laughs> motorcycle from Breath of the Wild. Oh, wow. Oh, it's got laser beams on it. I should have known. It was called a beam... <laughs> It's stuck. 
<laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Maybe it'll be good on Flatland. Hold on. It's got a laser beam on the front, so that makes it kind of cool. It needs it needs rockets. Oh, it actually goes pretty fast. You know what? I'm not. <laughs> I can't steer it very well. Wait, we gotta see how good the laser beam works. I think there's some mobs down here. Oh no 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 no! It's a tragedy. All right, is there anything that I can kill with this? Can I at least run something? Ooh. Oh, that's a tree. No, bad tree. Bad tree. I just want to run one person over with this. Ah! <laughs> it's it's wholly useless. <laughs> it's it's ridiculous. Oh my god. Wait. You like being spanked? There we go. Did you like my motorcycle? God, it's the worst thing ever. Well, it definitely looks like there's something interesting going on at the old man's cabin. I've seen these stones before, which makes me think the Yiga clan has also taken over this cabin. Interesting. There's no real clear way into there either. I think we're going to have to do my favorite trick again, but not mess it up this time. So we're going to drop a bomb flower. We're going to use fusion, put it on the shield, hop, flop, and fly. Hello, chicken. Interesting. Is there anything out here? Got a couple of mushrooms over there. I was wondering if there's going to be like any secret armor or anything. Oh, what's going on in there? <gasps> Wait a second. Wait a second. Is that? <laughs> it's the Yiga clan mask. Okay. I've been looking for this thing. I've actually got the body armor. Well, I found where the body armor is. Oh, and there's two guys inside of there. Who's there? Wait. You. You're Link. Thought you'd ambush us, did you? Well, oh, okay, I guess we're getting ambushed now. Well, I guess this is unavoidable. All right, we're going to do our favorite trick here. Oh my god, where did he come from? The freaking sky? All right, who do we want to take out first? This guy? <laughs> Ooh, that was cool. Oh my god, hello, friend. Last time I fought these guys, they weren't nearly this bad. Bye-bye. Alright, what are you doing over here? So we got one down. Other guy's gone. Ooh, did we get another eightfold long blade? Oh, he didn't drop one. We got another eightfold blade right here, but not another long blade. That would have been awesome. Alright, let's head back inside and see what's going on. I'm working as fast as I can. Please, just give me a little more time. Wait, you're not one of them. You chased off the Yiga clan. You mean I can get out of here? Hooray! Those Yiga guys were forcing me to make weird outfits for them. It was awful. Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe because of my reputation for flashy fashion. I only let CC brand threads touch this body. Okay, that's a weird sentence. Anyways, I guess, do we get the hat from this? Nice! One Yiga mask with stealth up. <laughs> On the back of the door, there's a picture of Link as a goblin. That's great. 